I urge DPRK again to stop its nuclear and missile advancement. If the country respects the June the 15th Joint Declaration and October the 4th Inter-Korean Summit Declaration, the country should come out on the path towards denuclearization. The Prime Minister also spoke about international community's anger over the death of Otto Warmbier, an American detainee who died days after his release. He urged Pyongyang to return all South Korean and American detainees to their home countries. Around 5,000 people took part in the event, including war veterans, government officials and U.S. Forces Korea officials. The Korean War ended with an armistice, not a peace treaty in 1953. The two sides are technically still at war.